Oh, Officer Malahide, welcome to Bartfield. Thank you, Governor. Um, did Mark Lewis have a Game Boy on his personal possessions list? Uh, no, no, he didn't. Mr. Malahide, it is very important that every prisoner's cell belongings are checked on a regular basis. If an item is not on the list, one, it is against the rules, two, the prisoner must be put on report, and three, if this had been checked, it would have saved us a hell of a lot of aggravation. Good morning, Mr. Snooper. What do you know about this? Did Mark Lewis of... Could you turn that off, please? Nothing. I've never seen it before, miss. Is it Jack Bulmer's Game Boy? I don't know. Does it have Jack printed on the side? Can you see that? Now, were you offered this? Were you going to buy this, Mr. Snooper? I've never seen it before, miss. You know, Mr. Snooper, you've only got, what, another 18 months? Jack Bulmer's got 11 years. I know. He's a lifer, I know he is. And you must know that with that amount of time, you don't want to create any trouble. You don't get a parole. You just want to do your time and create as little fuss as possible. Look, I feel really sorry for Jack, miss, but I don't know nothing about no Game Boy. So Mark Lewis never offered you this? No. Can I ask you something, miss? <sighs> every morning, I bring me scramble egg. I don't like scramble egg. Morning, Miss Ewing. Morning. It's a bit uh, early for your rounds. Morning. Excuse me, Miss Ewing. Uh, because of what happened yesterday, that uh, little fracas that we had during uh, association, that won't mean that we don't get any exercise, will it? Thank you. Well, if you weren't involved in the um, fracas, as you call it, then no, you'll get your usual exercise bed. Oh, good. It's just a, well, it's just a lovely day. I'd like to miss it. Mr. Maynard. Officer Malahad. Could you ask Governor Lyons to step into my office this afternoon, please? Thank you. Excuse me, can I have a word? Yes. Morning. Webster absconded. You put him back on the wing. You know my feelings about that. But then, you give this. This is bloody stupid. Why? Because he's like he's getting a perk for legging it. No, that's not a perk. That is a punishment. Why? Why are you lying yourself on the line like this? Hmm? Because I gave Webster my word, and in this place that is of the utmost importance. Fine. I'll tell the SO on the wing. No, I'll tell him. And Gary, I want prisoner Mark Lewis transferred out of Barfield. We'll do a trade-off if necessary, but I want him out of here. Decent Webster. Has he had breakfast? Could you wait outside, please? What happened? I slipped on the stairs, miss. Do you wish to make a complaint against anyone? No. You will lose your privileges for a month and 21 days will be added onto your sentence. Yes, miss. Thank you, miss. You will also lose the privilege of exercising with the other inmates. You'll be exercised in the yard, alone, though under supervision, and for at least three quarters of an hour a day. Punishment? Don't let me know. Is it going down? I've done everything for you. I'm with you, aren't I? Shut up. Well, come on! Give it to me straight! I told you yesterday! You get an extra three months, you brat! Three months? 
I heard Webster come back with the gov. He got out to give her a fuck, that's what I was told. He's running a bit of a risk, isn't he? I'm going to be moved, aren't I? I know. You accused Mark Lewis of stealing certain items. Are these the belongings that were stolen from your cell? He did it at 6.45 on Tuesday's association. I know because I went to make a phone call. But nobody actually saw him entering your cell, so how can you be sure? Because he wanted some cello tape. I said he could get it. I saw him going in as I went down the landing. But you didn't actually see your things in Mark Lewis's cell? The next day at lunch, I'm told by someone that Oswald Snooper was offered a Game Boy by Mark Lewis. So it had to be him. So you took the law into your own hands? I never touched one of the bosses, ma'am. I never touched one of them. I will take that into consideration, and your previous good behaviour, and the fact that you were provoked. But I cannot condone such violence, so obviously you will be punished. But you will get your belongings returned to you eventually. You put me back on the wing with him and you kill me. Mark Lewis will be transferred from Barfield. I owe you, Miss Hewitt. And as I'm down here, no one will know. Rumours there's going to be a delivery. They're wrong. It's a collection. Oh my God. It's a helicopter. Get the alarms on! Give her that. I just hope her bloody car starts. <laughs> 